Okay, Lon, and what do you do with the city? I am a program coordinator with the community development department. Okay, and you're here tonight about? I am talking to residents in the local historic district about the historic rehabilitation program. And that program is a grant program for people living in the historic district to fix up the exterior of their homes. Um, and so that includes painting, window repair, uh, front porch repair, roof repair, things like that. They can get um, a $5,000 or $7,500 grant from our program. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, when does this program start? Is it in effect now? It is, in effect. And our applications are due May 31st. So coming up soon. Okay. Uh, and so tell me a little bit about the process of applying. How do you do that? Yeah, so we have applications on the city's website. Um, people can download or they can come into the office and pick one up. Um, and basically you just write about kind of the project you want to do and materials you're using. And then get two bids for the project, just detailing how much the project would cost so that we can base our grant off that. And then you also mark what your income level is, and that will determine how much uh, cost share we'll give. So you can either get 50% of the cost share if you're above 100% area median income, and uh, get 75% of the cost share, up to $7,500 if you're below 100% AMI. So. And remind me what those levels are. 100% um, AMI. It depends on how many people are in your household, so it's a little confusing. So I usually just tell people to mark it on the application, and I can let them know where they stand in that. So. All right. All right. So uh, you fill out a form, and then what happens to that form after I fill it out? Yeah, so you turn it in to the Community Development Department and then by the May 31st deadline, and then we'll review them and uh, let you know by June if your project is accepted and, uh, and you're getting the grant. We'll let you know how much you're getting, and then you can start a project July 1st. Okay, and uh, so who reviews that, and uh, do I come in for an interview or nope. anything like that? There's no interview. Um, staff reviews the applications. If we have more applications than there are funding, then we have our Historic Preservation Commission review and prioritize them. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll give you an answer by June and you'll know whether to start in July. Okay. All right. And so you say it's a grant program. Uh, so this is not a loan. I don't have to repay it or anything like that. No, so the program used to be grant and loan, and we recently updated it back in the fall to only be grants. Um, and that was based off feedback we were getting from applicants, and they were saying that the grant was a better option for them. And so we kind of tweaked the program, and so now we're only giving out grants. Okay. All right. Uh, and so this is intended for who? This is intended for property owners in the local historic district. Um, so that's the second, third Ave historic district in the Redmond Park Grand Avenue district. And also property owners of local historic landmarks. And we have five of those in here. Okay. All right. Does this, is this available to uh, just to homeowners or is it also available to landlords? Both. Yeah. So anyone that owns. Um, currently, we, we do not give it to like someone renting a property. We we stick with um, the owners of properties. Okay. So, All right. And then, uh, uh, how much money is available uh, to be granted uh, this year? So this year we have fifty thousand dollars to give out. Okay. All right. And. Uh, then is this going to extend over a period of number of years, or is this just a one-year deal? Well, this is our third year in the program, so um, hopefully, you know, we'll continue this program. We kind of, as we go along, we make tweaks, and um, so if this is a successful year, then I would anticipate another year of funding after that. Okay. So in the first two years, how much money did you all make available to people? It's been fifty thousand dollars each year. Oh, so each year you you yep. set up your whole budget then. Right? Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. And then, what is the goal of this program? Uh, 
Uh, the goal of this program is to provide a financial support to people living in the local historic district. We have kind of special requirements that um, people in the district have to follow, so using certain materials like wood windows and um, you know a vi wood uh, siding, and, and sometimes those can be slightly more costly than maybe vinyl options, and so we're hoping that this could help offset those costs for property owners in the district and help um, kind of support that district. Okay. Uh, so is this the uh, only program the city has that supports homeowners or property owners in the historic districts? Um, it's the only one specifically for local historic district that I'm aware of. Um, one. Uh, program that recently started this fall is the Neighborhood Finance Corporation, who's also at this open house, who, um, they have a larger lending area, um, but that includes the local historic district, and so we refer people to them as well, and that's an additional financial support to them. Okay. All right, Lauren, thank you very much. Thank you.